Today we're gonna to be getting it all done in the kitchen. I've got some zone cleaning to do, an organization project, and then I'm even gonna share with you an easy dinner idea, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I'm going to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. All right, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. If you watched my video a couple weeks ago, I shared with you my personal fly lady routines. In that video, I shared with you that on Thursdays, I kind of set that day aside as my project day. Now, this particular day that I filmed this, this was actually this past Thursday. So during this week, we were in zone two. If you follow the fly lady cleaning system, which is your kitchen. Now by Thursday, usually I would have a good bit of my zone cleaning done. I did not this particular week, but I had a project that I needed to do in the kitchen. So I kind of just combined my zone cleaning and the project. And so I just thought it would be fun to film that and share it with you guys so that you can see how easy it is to just kind of set aside some time to get some things done. Before I got into my project, I wanted to descale my coffee makers. So I've got my Keurig and my drip coffee maker. They are descaling. And while they are doing their thing, I need to make some shelves to go in my pantry. Now we've got wire shelves and I want to create a flat surface that I can put on top of the wire shelf so that things don't fall through. You can see I have my little assistant right here. What I'm gonna be doing is I went to the Dollar Tree. First, I cleaned off my counter so that I had a nice workspace. I wiped it down really well so it was nice and clean. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got some foam core board and I'm going to cover it in contact paper. Now, what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so that I can put things on my pantry shelf and they're not going to fall through. There are some organizers that I've been wanting to put in there that I couldn't put in there because of the wires. Now, this particular foam core board that you get at the Dollar Tree is not as wide as I needed. So I decided to just kind of measure it out. I was able to kind of deconstruct and put it back together so that it was the right size. I just use real simple tools. I used a yardstick, a pen, a ruler. I used a razor um, like box cutter thing and I use some duct tape. So right here you're going to see me just measure and cut and kind of get these put together. In my pantry I needed my shelves to be 36 inches. This foam core board from the Dollar Tree was only 30 inches. I normally buy my foam core board at Hobby Lobby but I don't actually live very close to a Hobby Lobby and this was just easier and so that is what I am doing right now.
I pretty much just went one shelf at a time. So I made a shelf, then I took everything off of that shelf, then I put the board up there and then put everything back. Now y'all, this pantry is still kind of giving me fits. I don't feel like I can fit everything in here that I need. So I'm constantly trying to like decant things into things that work better in here. And I am trying to figure out how I need to shop so I don't have as many items in the pantry and things like that. But I am determined to get this eventually. I just have to keep reminding myself that it's a process and sometimes it just takes time to adjust to new things and new spaces. And that is totally okay. Some of the things that I tried to rearrange in here ended up not working and I had to put them back like they were. And it was a little bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, I'm going to keep working on this. Even if it's just a little at a time, I am determined to make this pantry functional. The problem is that, I don't know, it's not really a problem. It's just that it's different. And I feel like I have to play a massive game of Tetris in this pantry and also in this refrigerator. This refrigerator is so much smaller than the fridge that we used to have. And we also do not have room for a second fridge or a freezer like I'm used to. So it's just a learning process. And like I said, it has been a little bit frustrating, but I'm not complaining. It is a challenge that I am up for. You can see that I made quite the mess in the process of doing that little project. So now I need to clean this up, but it felt really good to get this project done. You can also see I am still running water through my coffee makers in the process. That is one of those things on my zone cleaning list that I like to do every single month because I just feel like it makes such a big difference in our coffee makers. And now you can see like I was able to use this little wire organizer in here. This wire organizer fits now. So it really did make this pantry feel a lot better. So making those shelves and straightening up the pantry actually took quite a bit of time, but now I need to straighten up my fridge. It's super full. There are several things that I purchased this week for groceries that we just kind of haven't really used. Part of it is my fault because like the celery, I didn't go ahead and wash it and prepare it and cut it and make it easy to eat. So it's just going to sit in the fridge until I do that. So I need to take care of that. As I was going through here, I found found a good bit of rotisserie chicken that we haven't eaten yet and I don't want it to go too bad so I'm gonna make it into a super quick easy dinner and I'll show you that here in just a little bit but I'm gonna just take the time since I'm already in the kitchen and just take care of a few of these things so that we don't have a bunch of food waste. These are the kind of projects that I don't really think of as zone cleaning per se but for this week, they are the things that really needed to be handled. So I really needed to take care of those shelves. Now I really need to take care of this food. And while I was doing that, I was able to go ahead and descale my coffee makers. And then I'm also gonna do another little thing. And if that's all the zone cleaning I get done this week, that is totally okay. So let me know in the comments, are you good at prepping your fruits and veggies when you get them home from the grocery store? It's something that I feel like I'm hit or miss with. I'm trying to get better about preparing them and getting them ready when I go to the grocery store. But like I said, it's kind of hit, hit or miss around here. I 
ended up buying too much rotisserie chicken this week and I noticed it was in the fridge. So I decided to just chop it up and use it to make a really quick dinner. And I thought I would just include it in here because I really like um, finding easy recipes that other people share. So I don't really have a recipe. I just chop up the chicken. I add some shredded cheese, some ranch, and some buffalo sauce, and I'm going to make some buffalo chicken sliders. Like I said, I don't really measure anything. I just kind of pour it in there and mix it up till I think it looks good. That's kind of how I do most of my cooking. I actually had some of these Hawaiian rolls, the little buns to make sliders. I was going to use them for a different meal this week, but because we had this chicken, I decided to just use it up. So this made a super easy, super fast dinner. Everybody really liked it. It was really good. It was really easy and it got some things out of my fridge that needed to be eaten. Just going to butter the tops and then add some garlic salt. I'm going to cover these with some tin foil and then I'm going to put them in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes just till everything is nice and warm and the cheese is melted inside and then they are done. I cooked some french fries like frozen french fries to go with this. Like I said super quick meal which was nice. The other nice thing about this is it's going to be a super easy and quick cleanup. So since I've already spent some time in the kitchen today, I'm not going to stand in here for much longer after dinner is over with to have to do a major clean, which is a huge win. All right, so you can see I didn't do a lot of zone cleaning, but just doing that little bit, getting my fridge straightened up, this looks so much better. So now when I go back to the store for groceries, I do have some room to actually put things in there. I know that I don't have food in there that's gonna go bad. I've taken care of all of that. So now while our dinner's in the oven, I'm going to clean this up and then I'm gonna get just another little thing of zone cleaning done I'm going to wipe down the front of all my stainless steel appliances. I'm a huge fan of working on things in the kitchen while you're already in the kitchen doing other things. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope it has given you some motivation to get up and get some zone cleaning done in your own home. Just set your timer for 15 minutes and just get whatever it is on your list done that you need to get done. If you didn't need actual cleaning motivation, hopefully you got some inspiration to get in your fridge and use those leftovers, things that may go bad, and turn them into something that you can enjoy for dinner that is super easy and super quick. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next week. I think good to figure